We're here with Giannis from Plex, tuning all the way from Greece at PRI 2014. And I wanted to spend some time talking to Giannis about their STM 500 uh, dash display and logger. Now, Giannis, this is already a market with a lot of products out there, but I know your STM 500 has some quite unique features. Now, one of those is the ability to view the uh, log data live on the screen. Can you tell us a little bit about how that works? Yes, it's pretty easy to do. After uh, logging the data, you use the joystick that we provide for controlling the device, select the log file, one step. The next step is to select the data that you, types that you want to review. And in the next step, you are in a data log review mode where you can scroll through all the file. You have uh, at the bottom part of the screen a whole file overview graph. So it's easy to navigate, and at the top part you see a zoomed in portion of the data. And it's easy to scroll through, zoom in, zoom out. If you need to check some other type of data, you just go back, select another data set, and go back in. It's very, very intuitive to use. Now, tra traditionally with most uh, dash logger units, you're actually going to have to download that data file into a laptop, into some analysis software before you can actually look at that data. So the ability to quickly review that data on screen is definitely unique. However, if you do want a more in-depth review of the data, you can still analyze that yes. in a laptop software package? Yes, we supply the software required. You can download the data and review it in detail Yes, on the PC. Now another uh, part of your, your dash module that I find quite unique is that joystick which you just touched upon. So again, without needing to actually connect a laptop, you can do a lot of the configuration and a lot of the alteration to the dash setup uh, with this joystick, correct? Yes, most of the configuration can be done on the device with this joystick. We have a very easy to access menu. You can do a shift light setup, you can set up inputs and outputs, alarms, uh, communications, um, you can change the parameters that are displayed on each page it's all through this joystick. So the laptop is only required usually for the initial setup and then at the track you can easily change something if you need to. That's, that's definitely handy because it can be quite cumbersome when you need to get your laptop out to make what sometimes is quite a, a simple adjustment to the dash. Now, let's uh, talk about where we can get the data from with this dash, what sort of uh, you know, protocols that you, have you got for communication? What is it compatible with? Okay, We have two CAN bus ports and one serial port and it's uh, compatible with uh, most major ECU brands uh, and it's very easy for us to add another brand that's not supported in just a few days. So even if it's a new protocol uh, we will try to accommodate it as fast as possible. Now in terms of additional data above and beyond what you're getting from an ECU, have you got the ability to wire sensors directly to the dash as well? Yes, uh, as standard we have two EGT inputs, a temperature type K thermocouple inputs, we have three additional analog or digital sensor inputs and then using the second CAN bus we can provide an expansion box to add more sensors and we have an internal 3-axis accelerometer and the options to add an internal GPS module with an external antenna. So you can get almost any type of data that you want. Okay, it does sound like it's a, a very fully featured unit. Another thing that's uh, quite unique is your ability to uh, change the colour of any of the parameters displayed on the dash to give the driver uh, a visual indication or warning. Uh, again, when you're in the heat of battle out on the racetrack, uh, often you're not going to be really focusing on the dash. So can you tell us how that colour change function works? Yes, we have a system where you define a low and a high value for each parameter. Uh, if the data is between the, these two values, it will display, be displayed in green color. If it is above in red and below in blue. So if you set it up correctly, at any time, just looking at the dash, if you see everything green, you know that uh, parameters are within range. So it's easy to spot something that is out of range and you don't even have to, have to read the numbers. Uh, this system is separate from the alarm system. Let's say it's an early warning just to get your attention. Uh, but if you have a real alarm condition, it's indicated by a very bright, high contrast uh, yellow band. Okay, and the other thing you've got there is, is kind of a, a telltale or an engine life uh, sort of log file which will give maximums uh, for any of the parameters and that's protected as well. Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, besides a normal data logging memory that is data logging on demand and can be set up to start automatically or manually, 
We have a separate memory that continuously logs information about uh, the engine usage. So it will keep the maximum value of a few important parameters and also statistical data on uh, a few other parameters. For example, it can keep uh, how much time what was spent at its temperature level or how much time was spent at its uh, RPM um, uh, space between, let's say, 10,000 and 10,500. Uh, this part of the engine log um, is uh, designed to be used by the engine builder and tuner to be able to diagnose what, how the engine was driven and what happened to the engine. And in addition to that, we also lock the 100, last 100 alarms triggered by the device with date, time, value and duration information for each. So the driver's got nowhere to hide if they've missed a shift or uh, over the engine? Yeah, no, he cannot hide and we can lock it with a password so it's, the driver will not be able to access it or erase it. Yes. Uh, can you give us some indication of the price point of this product? Yes, uh, in uh, US dollars, uh, our price point for our logging uh, display uh, is uh, close to $1,700 and our non-logging version, which has a few of other features removed, uh, is approximately at $1,200. And if someone wants to uh, get one of these products, how should they go about that? Yes, uh, they can contact us directly and to get a quotation and uh, we'll arrange it and to ship it very fast. So that's just Plex tuning on the web? Yes, at this point, yes. Okay, thanks for uh, giving some information about that product, Yanis. It sounds great. Thank you very much. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.